going to change the fuel filter out tonight on the Gale Skid Steer. Here is the filter that we're going to be replacing. And hopefully you can see it. There's a little prime pump down here that we're going to be actuating as well. Factory part number on this Gale filter is 078858. I'm sorry, 56. 078856. I don't happen to have a, a Gale dealer close by, so we're going to be putting a Wix filter on it. I've always had good luck with Wix filters, and I, I would prefer to do a, a factory one just because that's, you know, it's, it's what the factory spec, you know, it's going to be good enough. But, like I said, no Gale dealer by, so we're going to put on a Wix. And it, that crosses over to a triple three eighty six. And this is for the Gale model 3410 with the Azusa diesel. And you can see, hopefully that's coming out red. Uh, commonly that's referred to as Ruby diesel. That's road tax free. So it's farm diesel or um, counties, municipalities use it for uh, off-road applications. But this I bought from a family member who is a farmer, hence they're running Ruby Diesel in it. Now there's just diesel chugging out of that thing, isn't there? Holy cow. Let's get this new filter on there. Alright, and it's that simple. down here on the back of the pump there's this little lever you're just going to keep pumping that and I don't know if you can hear it in the camera but that air bleed screw is whistling and farting and making all sorts of noise and you're just going to keep pumping that until you have diesel come out so this screw right here is what I'm talking about I'll keep pumping it and you should see this little air you can see there I shot a little bit out we're going to keep pumping it until it's really just pouring out of there. Because any air you have left over is just air that's trapped inside the filter. And before that Ruby Diesel I was talking about, this I've run... Oh yeah, it's just pouring out of there now. Okay, we'll shut that. You can see it's just pouring out of there. That Ruby Diesel, being tax-free, um, you don't want to put that in your truck, just in a pinch. And clearly, if you have Ruby Diesel on hand, you know this. But um, in a pinch, you don't want to put that in a diesel truck because that red dye sticks around. I mean, they say it's nearly impossible to get rid of once you put it in your system. If you get caught with that stuff, I guess it's just a huge fine because you're, you know, cheating the government out of your taxes. So, uh, but being this is off-road, no big deal. Uh, that, that's the point of it, is it's, it's for farmers or for municipalities, places like that where they're not operating diesel equipment on the road. So now, um, you just crank it up, and in theory it should fire right up. We're not going to do that, however, because we're actually diagnosing a no-start problem. I'm just hoping this was plugged up. I was getting some fuel coming out of there when I loosened it up, but I don't know. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. This is how to change the fuel filter. Very easy. Simply just take it off, stick the new one on, and just pump your little lever down there.